everybody and welcome back once again another edition of Inside the Headset. Here we are, week nine, game nine. I'm with the head coach of the Riverdale Warriors, Coach Ron Adlock. Coach, Friday night, things didn't go your way, but uh, I think at times you felt like your team was, uh, you, they were giving it everything they had. Well, I, I felt that way for, you know, the first half and then, you know, obviously when we went back through the film, you know, I think we sort of kind of had the wind taken out of ourselves a little bit, especially early in the third quarter, and I'm not sure how hard we fought in the second half, but, you know, I thought we had, uh, you know, I thought we played relatively hard in the first half and put ourselves in position going into halftime to, uh, you know, could have come out a little bit better if we wouldn't have had, uh, you know, a turnover, critical turnover there in the end of the first half, and, you know, at least made it a football game. I think we got beat by another football team. Uh, let's make no mistake about that, but, uh, you know, I was a little disappointed in how we finished. Well, when you turn the ball over, you've, you've mentioned to me several times that game changer, if they score before the end of the first half and then they're getting the ball coming out for the second half, you've really put yourself in a bind. Yeah, and, uh, you know, and, that, and that's sort of kind of been our M.O. in our three losses. I mean, when we turn it over multiple times, we lose, and, you know, and, and that's played out every time in our situation. So when you give people easy opportunities, especially good football teams, well-coached football teams, uh, that's going to be that's going to be the uh, – that's going to be the nail in the coffin, so they say. So, and uh, unfortunately, we did that again and didn't take care of our business. And, you know, and, they, and again, they're a very good football team, and they're probably the best team in our region. I think that would probably play out, you know, unless something uh, unforeseen uh, happens in the next couple of weeks. Well, they got to stay healthy too. I mean, that's the biggest thing. And, and they, yeah, and they've done that. Of course, they had a couple of kids suspended, so you know, I guess we caught them at a decently uh, good time, and uh, you know, they had some. Some things they had to work through early, and that might have been part of the reason that you know we were in the game. I yeah. don't know. You know, they're they're an awfully good football team. They're just more physical than us and faster than us, and we didn't have an answer for four or seven. So they were they're good football players. Well, and probably got a couple more extra players on the team, uh, whether or not they're good, but they help they help all around when you've got even an additional 15, 20 extra men. Sure it does. Yeah, uh, yeah, their numbers. They're you know we can't even talk numbers because we're nowhere close to you know. Blackman or Oakland as far as numerical uh, roster numbers. So. It is what it is. Yeah. Um, um, uh, Friday night, you got a tough opponent, um, and, and you need this one really bad. Uh, and, and I see I see this is a, a great matchup. I mean, uh, two squads, and uh, if you play well, I think you can win. Well, I think we'll certainly have a chance. I think Smyrna is, uh, you know, on film a little bit better football team than us in that they're a little more healthy than us. and. Uh, you know, I'm really impressed what Matt's done down there with them. They just seem to get better every week, and they play hard, and uh, they're physical. You know, that's sort of the kind of things that concern me is our lack of being physical and, uh, you know, trying to win that uh, up-front battle, that line of scrimmage battle. I think that's where people really underestimate, you know, where football's really played, and that's sort of kind of been our Achilles heel all year. Is it is just the front line, and that's on both sides? Well, they play, you know, they predominantly play fresh people, but they've got some, you know, what I term quote unquote real football players. They got kids that get in there and get physical with you. And it's, you know, you can do whatever you want to in football, but it's still a physical football game. And, uh, you know, they show some of that. Now, I know they lost a good back a few weeks ago, but they've got a guy that's, you know, I feel like he's equally as good. Uh, you know, they got the kid that plays wide receiver, DB, plays some quarterback for him. He's a great athlete. So they've got some athletes. and. Uh, you know, their numbers are good, and, you know, I, I, they're, they're playing pretty well right now. So, uh, basically, to beat them, it's going to take your best effort? I think we're going to, yeah, absolutely. It's going to take one of the games where we, you know, do things that we have to do. We're, we know what we're supposed to do, and we're still fighting some of that, uh, taking care of the football, and, you know, and, and uh, obviously not being penalized in, in key situations with stupid penalties and penalties that, you know, like jumping on size, that type of thing. Here at... Uh here at home, uh, Friday night, I'm coming out. And anything, anything you want to say to the people, other than I'll be here and everybody else will be here. We'll be here, and uh, you know, and I think the kids will probably be ready by Friday night. You know, we've had a couple of decent days. We could step it up still, learn how to practice a little bit better. But I think, you know, every, from what I'm hearing, a lot, a lot of people uh, have those pains at times. So, uh, you know, it's never expectation for a coach as to how it goes in practice. You know, you always want a little bit better than what you had. So. I think the kids will be ready, and I know Smart will come in here ready. It should be a good it's always a good game. Yeah, it always has been. It always so. has been. All right, 7 o'clock right here, Friday night. I'll be here. It's Smyrna Bulldogs will be visiting the Riverdale Warriors. Y'all be here.